since the late 1980s and the V8-swapped W124 chassis hammers. Amgenhanced versions of the Merced Spencer class have been among the most competent and coveted super sedans on this or any other planet. However, the Affault back augmented ease status as one of the segment's major domos is under more threat now than it has ever been with incoming fire from fellow German labels BMW and Porsche, the Indian-employed Brits at Jaguar and, yes, even our compatriots at Cadillac and Dodge. Fortunately, the advent of the new W213 Series E means the advent of a new AMG version thereof, and it looks to be more than up to the task of defending the family's honor. The 2018 Mercedes ME63 and E63 S, making their world debut at next month's Los Angeles Auto Show and hitting dealers here in North America. Next summer, look fundamentally similar to the regular A-class sedans, which in turn look fundamentally similar to the current C and S-class sedans. In typical AMG fashion, there are noteworthy cosmetic differences, including but not limited to new, for more aggressive front and rear fascias the latter featuring the factory tuner's trademark quad rhomboid tailpipes poking out from the diffuser area, wider front fenders and side skirt extensions. Inside, you'll find such goodies as embossed leather upholstery, carbon fiber trim, and a flat-bottomed sport steering wheel. Of course, true to Mercedes and form, there's plenty of stake to go with all this added sizzle. Said vehicular sirloin takes the form of an MG's new standard bearer 4.0L twin-turbo V8. In standard E63, it produces 563 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque, while the E63S is rated at 603 horsepower and 627 pound-feet. Both variations send their prodigious power to the pavement through an MG's multi-clutch speed shift 9-speed automatic transmission and a performance-tuned 4-matic all-wheel drive system that, when the driver activates drift mode, which is only accessible when race mode is selected, ESP is off and the transmission is in manual mode, operates as a rear drive-only system. Naturally, if you want to hit 60 miles per hour in the astounding 3.3 seconds Mercedes M claims for the S the base model will take 0.1 second longer and be limited to 155 miles per hour rather than the upgraded models 186, you're going to want all four tires clawing at the pavement. Will this be the last salvo fired in the super sedan arms race? We certainly hope not. Source Mercedesum.